Perhaps it's the giant, colorful sail, or maybe the idea of being able to hop aboard and float towards the sunset. But there is something about sailboats that calls out to our romantic spirit of adventure. You see the boat out there, and basically the average person says, boy, I wish I was out there instead of stuck in this traffic on the bridge. And it's just the thought of that solitude or just being quietly moved along the water with a friend in the boat. Sailing's like so many other activities. Certain people just are gravitated to it. You've got the wind and the waves and the sails make a lot of flapping noise, but there's a way to do it so that it's a pretty calming activity when you're just out on the water in a nice lazy day. Learning to captain a sailboat can start at an early age. All that's needed is a windy day and the know-how from the experts at the Edison Sailing Center. Run her down! Water helps too. In this case, the Caloosahatchee River serves as the classroom where kids learn navigation basics in a hands-on learning environment that teaches young sailors to hoist up their sails and go. The Sailing Center offers all of these water activities because it comes back to, we'd rather see a kid on the water than hanging out at the mall or being in front of his computer all day long. Most of our kids start from square one some of these kids have never been in a boat before, and at the end of a two-week session, not only can they rig the boat by themselves, but they can sail it out and they sail back on their own. So there's a great sense of accomplishment that goes with that, and the kids have to learn to think. Now, we sneak that one in on them, because they don't always want to think for themselves, but we work with them towards that end. This will happen as a cold front comes through. Anytime you can teach a kid to think, you're ahead of the game. And so one of the prime lessons here is you're on the water, you break down, what are you gonna do? How can you help yourself? How can you reason this situation out? Well, once they get in the habit of doing that on the water, that's just a skill and a habit they'll take into everything they do in their life. And so they will start to think about everything and reason out and they just become a much more valuable product in the community. Sailing also bridges generational gaps by helping adults teach younger generations responsibility. And the shared interests can open gateways to communication. I think it's extremely healthy in so many ways. They're spending all the time outdoors. Sailing is teaching them a lot of discipline, camaraderie, and respect, respect for each other as far as the teams goes and nature. I think the most surprising thing I found is his willingness to help out, to not stop until everyone is done. No one goes and sits down because they are done. They wait for all of them to be done at the same time. One of the first things I said when I came down after my son had been in the program for a while and I saw him running around asking if he could help with something, can I do this, do you need any help to his friends? As parents, we looked at each other and said, is that our kids? I think in many ways, when the kids join here, it keeps them out of trouble. It really teaches the basic, the core basics of a good upbringing in kids. It helps us parents out. The extensive prep work behind sailing creates a sense of accomplishment. But when needed, instructors are nearby and offer assistance along the way. Today we're actually working with kids who have taken the summer class or are sailing with us seasonally and we're working on improving their skills on the water. We're teaching them how to improve their tacking and jiving skills and we're working on improving their upwind skills and just generally all of their sailing skills. The first thing you've got to do is figure out where the wind's coming from. Then you've got to bring the boat out point it into the wind, put the sail up. Hook up your lines, your control lines, the main sheet, boom, bang, Cunningham, outhaul. Launch the boat, go sailing. The boats that we have can basically be rigged up in 10 minutes and you can be on the water. They're very simple for the most part. In 10 minutes, hit the water and be sailing. We work very hard at seeing that the kids learn how to rig their own boats. They learn how to get out on their own. If you've got a little eight-year-old girl that weighs 65 pounds, obviously she needs some help getting that boat in the water. 
Well, now we're working on teamwork. And let's get four or five of you little 65, 75 pounders. And the kids all work together to help her get that boat to the water. I'm still amazed when I see these eight-year-olds uh, rigging their boats and taking off. As a parent, you get a little scared, say, are you going to leave him alone out on the water? Well, obviously, they're not alone, but it's amazing how quick they learn the skills. We're a community based around the water, so if you've never been on a boat, you're really missing out on something that's a key part of our community. Regattas are sailboat races held several times a year. Races offer a challenging spirit of competition to the young sailors and hours of entertainment for spectators. We have about 220 kids and young adults from all over the state. The ages range from 8 to 18, and they're sailing several different fleets of boats depending on their age and experience level. And they'll be sailing out in the Caloosahatchee River, and there'll be multiple competitions going on at once, and they'll do multiple races throughout the day. We are known around the state as hosting a really fun regatta. We try to show everybody a good time and use a lot of the community resources, considering you know maybe a family of three, four, five, they stay in our hotels, they eat at our restaurants, they shop at our shops, so it's very good for the economy. It does create a sense of community because of everybody who's involved. It takes sponsors, it takes organizers, it takes volunteers, and it's nice to always come together and know that we're showing a good time to the folks throughout the rest of the state. Hopefully when they come here, they fall in love with the area and come back and visit again. Southwest Florida's laid-back lifestyle is jolted awake as the competing seafarers jockey for position. Then a judge sounds the horn, and the race is on. Pandemonium reigns as these young sailors contend for first place. We practice here, and we go around to different regattas, which are somewhere in you know Sarasota, Miami, you name it, as long as it's on the water. And we'll sail there for a week and then come back home. I just like being out there and meeting new people, going around the state and just being out on the water, not sitting inside like some kids might do, playing video games or something. If I had just practiced here and never you know, gone out to a regatta, I wouldn't know nearly as much as I do now. It's fun just watching other people and being able to be out there and see if you can beat them. The rivalry between sailors is all for fun, but the spectators on land, mostly parents, exhale deeply after the race is finished. Every regatta is a little bit different in terms of the spectator opportunities. We're fortunate that our regatta is fairly easy for people to, to watch from land. It's always relaxing when you're sitting by the water or being out on the water on a spectator boat. Watching sailing is just as much fun as doing it. Whether watching from the beach or hunkered down in the hull of a boat, sailing both whets our appetite and quenches our thirst for adventure and connects us to the siren call of Southwest Florida waterways.